Oh, man, he was my favorite streamer, dude. This is the only streamer I would watch on Twitch and YouTube or whatever. Okay, I loved watching his funny clips. Like, he has some hilarious clips. So this whole situation really sucks really bad, especially if you were a fan of Doc. I'm putting Doc in two different boxes here. The one where he's his actual character and the other one where he's him, his personal life, and the guy who he actually is. I find a lot of these clips funny. He, the character, is entertaining, but... That definitely does not excuse anything that we just heard about in the past day here. Like, this is just such a crappy situation all around for everybody. I can't support it. I can't defend it. And, uh... Obviously, you can't support it or defend it. We have another video wow. by Tim the Tap Man. This is... One thing I found funny is that all these streamers are like making these uh, videos and they have no shirt. I mean, when you have a lot of money, you probably are just chilling, right? I mean, but why do they both not have a shirt on? <laughs> this huge tweet he wrote here. Everybody saw it coming, I would say, because in his last live stream at the very end, he was being very cryptic, very guilty, and then he finally had to admit it. And is he ever going to recover from this? No, definitely not. If I had to throw a number out there, I'd say about 80% of his fan base is disappointed and angry in a weird situation like I am, because honestly, Doc was the only streamer I would watch, right? There's nobody else who is like this character. Unless somebody were to take over, throw on a mustache and a wig, but you're literally just copying him at that point, right? At the end of this lengthy tweet where he apologizes to everybody, I'm taking an extended vacation with my family as mentioned on stream and I'm coming back with a heavy weight off my shoulders. They want me to disappear? Yeah. Right. It'll probably be a while. I think he will stream again. Obviously, things are going to be 10 times different. If I still see a doc video show up on my feed, that's hilarious. I'm still going to watch it. Again, I'm separating these in two different boxes. And obviously, there's a lot of people who are angry. A lot of the people who are never fans of doc, it's so easy to just say, look at this guy as a piece of crap. This guy is a piece of crap. It's easy for you to say this, especially if you didn't even care about Doc, right? He got banned from Twitch in 2017, so it has been a long time. He never revealed why he was banned, and now we all know that after this many years, that's just like, dig in the hole deeper. It's still pretty hard to swallow, I think, for everybody who was a fan of Doc. Kind of like just a sandwich. Apparently, he's been an NBA. Dropped. Midnight Studios is a game development studio he helped co-found. It completely dropped him. What other ties he has with other businesses you know all of them are pretty much on the same page as they should be what's going to happen here is a really tough question anyhow there's that drama today so i mean like i'm just going to go on a limb and say that she has one i mean how hard could it be to find out where's the about section link we have a link tree i didn't know twitch allows link tree but that's normally the link you go to What's this? A spicy link? I literally can't show you what's on my screen right now. I barely use Twitch and here we are. I was just live going on Twitch and this was on the front page right here. Do I have a problem with that? Not really because not saying I have not used OnlyFans, but and now, how did they curate their feed? I don't know. I don't watch like I, I watch maybe Counter-Strike and PUBG and that's it. So I don't know why my feed is like who knows, maybe they add the fact that you're a guy into the algorithm to curate the front page feed, but still, I bet you this girl right here, I, I'm just gonna go on a limb. All my links, all my links. I think I have to make a whole new video for this because this is honestly really intriguing that it was this easy to go onto the front page of Twitch and just be bombarded with this kind of content. Ah, where is this video going? I have no idea. So anyhow, we're gonna talk about Dr. Disrespect too. 